Welcome back to Live in Our Vision. I'm Brian. And I'm Michelle. If this is your first time here to our channel, welcome. And if you would, please subscribe right below and give us a thumbs up on our videos. All of those really help. Share, make comments down below in the videos. All of that helps YouTube put our videos out to more people and helps get them seen. <music> Thanksgiving day of 2018. We had a buyer for our house that wanted to close the day before Thanksgiving. So we gave it some thought and we thought, well, we have a buyer, we better do it. We've been full-time RVing ever since. So it's been a year and four months so far as of the date of this recording. When we first started, we're watching some other YouTube channels. One in particular was Next Exit. They had a spreadsheet that they put their expenses together with. Bob shared that spreadsheet with us and that really helped. It gave us an idea of where our expenses are at the time in our home and uh, plugged in our own numbers. Since then, I've done some tweaking to the spreadsheet to fit us a little bit better. And then here just recently, Michelle spent an entire day and then some <laughs> inputting all of our expenses into that spreadsheet for the past year of 2019. So this is from January to December of 2019. We're gonna be looking down here a lot and that's because we have our spreadsheet here and also in this video we're also going to share what we had predicted before we started RVing and showed the comparison of a house versus RV and we'll show you how close we actually were where we are now. We're going to start with diesel fuel because that is a big cost. Part of the uh, reason we went with the Thousand Trails membership is so that we wouldn't move quite a bit. We, would, we wanted to stay within the park system at least two to three weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. And that would keep our diesel fuel costs down and uh, we wouldn't have to move so much. We did that as much as we could. We only were out of the system, of course, if there were no Thousand Trails or Trails Collection Encore parks in our vicinity. As far as diesel fuel uh, for the year, we spent $2,505 on diesel fuel, which I didn't think that was too bad, did you? No, I thought it was going to be more than that when we first started. I'd have to look back to see what we had. I forgot mm -hmm. what we had predicted for that. We did have a few big months of fuel cost, and mainly that was, for instance, when we left Northwest in Washington State and drove to Iowa, and then when we left Iowa and went to Texas. Right. And then again from Texas to Florida. So those obviously were our big months where right. we spent a lot. And also looking on the spreadsheet, in May there was 536 miles driven with diesel fuel costs of only $214. And then you'll look at the month of June was only 245 miles with more diesel fuel, $247. And at first, when I first looked at that, how is that possible? And then duh, I thought <laughs> it's because we already had fuel in the tank when we started. So... If that confuses you when you look at that, that's why. And as you'll see here at the top, we have how many nights were stayed within the system of Thousand Trails, which includes Encore, which is the trails collection add-on within Thousand Trails. There'll be times when you have to spend a little bit more, mm -hmm. and if you have to stay an extended period of time in that area that does not have Thousand Trails. Right. All right, on to the next, propane. We spent $429 for the year for propane. We use propane for our stove, the water heater, and the furnace when it gets really cold out and we need to run the furnace. Which is part of the water heater. It's a tankless water heater. Right. Precision temp. So, you know, we there are many months where we hardly use any propane and then, you know, obviously some months were more than the others. What we did find out is in uh, December, we replaced our water heater because our old one went bad. Luckily, the, it was all under warranty. We, we had no out of cost for that. But under the new water heater, we have noticed a drastic change in where we're not using as much protein. Yeah. Propane. <laughs> propane. Where we're not using as much propane. So we didn't even realize that before, that the old water heater was sucking it up our propane but apparently it was because we you know once yeah. we went on got the new one it's a lot better with that being said Vinny is for sale just wanted to get that out there to our followers if you're interested just mm -hmm. uh, let us know and we'll talk about it 
on to the next. <laughs> All the RV clubs, campground memberships, monthly dues, thousand trails, mm -hmm. trails collection, RPI, Passport America, Good Sands. All of those. Mm -hmm. So we paid for the thousand trails and the trails collection October before we actually went full time. October of 2018, like at the very last day. So that's why the the total cost is not on there because we paid the full amount right up front. We don't like to do the monthly payment plan or anything like that. So the only time it's in the spreadsheet is this past December, so December of 2019, when we did renew our plans. So mm -hmm. Thousand Trails renewal was around 562. Trails collection renewal was 299. And then we also uh, renewed our Harvest Host of $76. So that was all in uh, December of 2019. And then earlier in the year, in February, we renewed... Um, or no, we bought the RPI and that was $125. And then Passport America we purchased in January for $99, but the Passport America cost is actually for over a three year period. So again, we, we only put those in the spreadsheet on the months that we paid for them. We didn't annualize it out to a monthly cost or anything like that. So we had a total of $1,191 for the year on all those dues. Mm -hmm which um, was our total cost for 2019. So then the next category is the nightly camping costs when we are outside of the Thousand Trails and Trails collection because then we obviously have to pay out of our pocket for any time we're out of the system. So the biggest months uh, that we had for that was in um, March and April of last year when the dealership in Vegas crashed Vinny. And we had to have the motorhome repaired, and we had to actually stay out of the motorhome. And we had to wait for them to order the parts. Then we had to wait for them to put the parts on. And it was actually like a whole month of being in Las Vegas longer than what we anticipated. So it, during that time, we um, utilized the Thousand Trails cabins. Mm -hmm. and But that... Again, we got a discount, but again, we had to pay out of pocket for that. And then we, since we only had a time frame of about two weeks in the cabin, we still needed two more weeks somewhere. So we found a, a casino RV park downtown and um, paid for that for two weeks. Yeah, but that's the, the casino park downtown was when we had Vinny still when we were waiting for him to get parts. Oh, The cabin true. Yeah. was when we did not have right. Vinny. So... The casino came first. True. We I were had that there backwards. first. So the other big months that we had the out of the park was, of course, when we went back to Iowa. There are no thousand trails or trails collection. Um, actually, there's very limited of anything for membership-wise in uh, the Midwest. So, of course, we had to pay out of pocket for the times that we were in uh, the state parks or the Corps of Engineers mm -hmm. um, or the city park when we were visiting my mom. So for the year, out of the Thousand Trail system, we spent two thousand five hundred and eighty-five dollars. So our RV and our car. We financed those. And our payment for the RV is seven hundred and thirty-five dollars a month. So that was eight thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars for the year. And our car is four hundred and thirty-five dollars a month, and five thousand two hundred and twenty dollars for the entire year. Then we have miscellaneous, RV miscellaneous, which includes, you know, your repairs and tags. And luckily for the repairs, most of it has been through our warranty. Right. The only thing that uh, was not in a warranty is things like when I replaced the water pump myself, um, just little things like that. Right. We uh, purchased the window shades, so that's in there. And when we did the whole service of the motorhome mm -hmm. in October, October, I think that was. We also had our muffler, the tailpipe repaired, repaired for a mishap in Oregon. That right, which helpful. that four hundred and twelve dollars <throat> for all of that, like the oil change and all of that, and that repair, that's um, a little bit misleading. And the reason why is we already had filters for the for the oil change. It might be kind of a wash. Um, it, it, it'll be really close. Yeah. Because we already had the filters, but yet we had the tailpipe exhaust repair that we had done. Mm -hmm. So the oil change was a little cheaper, but then we had the exhaust yeah, repair so there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just so that, you know, that $412 includes both. 
we did not have the cost of the motorhome license tags in here because we actually paid for that in December of 2018. However, we had the car license tag renewal and that was in January. So for the year for the repairs for both the car and the motorhome, the motorhome is $937 and the car is $106. All right, so on to the next here, the auto car fuel. That's one thing that we've noticed that we have been spending a lot less on because when we lived in the sticks and bricks, we were using a car a lot. I was using it a lot for work. So that fuel kind of makes up for the higher cost of the diesel fuel, especially since we stay put quite a bit. For the year, we had a total cost of $825 for fuel for the car. So then the next one is our RV and auto insurance. We pay uh, just one payment for both of them combined. The motorhome, the car, uh, that includes the dolly and a rider for our contents inside the motorhome. And most of the year it was $215. We just had a renewal done in November and it just went down like $3 or something a mm, month. That's lower than most of them yeah, that we've heard. Good. We did a lot of shopping around and they were able to make it work and still mm -hmm. have the full-time RVers insurance on there. So. Right. Groceries, <laughs> cleaning supplies, and miscellaneous. Yeah. We kind of combined everything in there and we've noticed a lot of people don't include that in their spreadsheets. They don't share that with everybody because everybody's a little different. Right. Depends but, on the, the type of food you yeah. buy. Or, you know, right. We like figured that. we'd go ahead and share that just to give people an idea because um, some people might not know. They may not even keep track of what they spend right. and that. So it, it might give you an idea for two right. people. So the total for the whole year was $7,889, which we were like, gosh, yeah. it seemed like a lot, yeah. but again, it's not just groceries. Dining out, dining out, we spent $3,340 yeah. for the year. We like to eat out, you know, there's mm -hmm. pie, there's ice cream, there's things that, you know, no, really, actually, we did this before we even went full time. We always enjoyed going out to restaurants yeah. and eating out, but now it's, uh, it's like a fun thing to do because you're in a place that you've never been before most likely and you just want to try out new new things. So uh, we do like to eat out a lot. Yeah. On the right hand side of the spreadsheet, after the total, it shows an average. That's your monthly average. Mm -hmm. So that was averaging $278 a month for eating out. So the next one is the internet and the cell phone cost. So we started out the year, uh, Brian was on a Verizon data plan for his phone. We had a Verizon jetpack for the Wi-Fi. And then I was already on Visible, which utilizes the Verizon towers uh, for my personal cell phone. Those costs came to 138 a month. However, in November, we switched. Brian came on to the Visible plan like I have, and we utilize what's called a party plan or something like that. So yeah. now it's 35 for him, 35 for me. For the year we spent 1,571. So that will go down for 2020 because it'll remain right. that amount throughout the whole year, mm -hmm. obviously. Yep. Now the next uh, TV service, we just use our antenna mostly. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have Amazon Prime that we like to watch the shows and movies Series, on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when I bought the iPhone 11, it came with one year free of Apple TV Plus, so we just started uh, using that, and we're not going to have to pay for that for a, a whole year. That mm -hmm. won't come up till 2021, mm -hmm. and when it does, that's only five dollars a month for that. So we'll probably keep that. Yeah. <clears throat> medical expenses. Uh, we don't have any medical mm -hmm. expenses right now. Thank God. Yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah, we have insurance through through my employer. employer, and we don't have any pet care because we currently do not have a pet. She said currently. Currently. That's why I enunciated. Currently. Don't have a pet. <laughs> Next one is uh, recreation, hobbies, and entertainment. Um, we try to, well, when we get to a new area, and you know, we'll Google to see what's in the area to do for fun. And, um, you know, surprisingly, there are a lot of free things to do or mm -hmm. things that are not all that expensive. So, um, you know, you'll kind of see, like, through the months... Sometimes we don't spend that much because, you know, gosh, if you want to just go for a hike or mm -hmm. um, just get out in nature, you know, there's a lot of things that are either free or very cheap to do. A lot of times we'll just splurge because it's 
part of a bucket list. Right. We didn't really have any computer costs for the year. We do have $162 listed in there for one month. and That was a storage SSD. drive, an SSD drive. Yeah. And the next one is a storage unit. We do have a storage unit, a very small one that just has a few mementos of ours in and um, still have a monthly cost on that. Um, the next one's a hairstylist products and makeup for me. <laughs> so uh, he's lucky he can... Um, cut his own hair me not so much um, you know I have to get it highlighted and cut and everything and had horrible experiences in some places and some places I've had great experiences so it's really up and down all over the board wherever we have went it really kind of fluctuates there yeah. I tried to keep the cost down and, She's been brave. And sometimes it just you know <laughs> you get what you pay for not this time I'm going to <laughs> Pay for the better. She says she's going to go to some place like Walmart or something like that. I'll put on body armor and take her, and <laughs> especially when I pick her up. I only had one good experience at a Walmart salon, and that was when we first started and we were in Palm Springs. Yeah. It was excellent, and that was also the first time I had went to a Walmart salon. So I thought at that point going I mean, forward, I was like, oh, this is what I can do all the time. And yeah, yeah no, that didn't. Yeah. I remember that guy at Walmart, he said he was... He yeah, was he was a part-time hairstylist, which he had done hairstyling for years. But he also had a business of... Um, he was a florist to many celebrities around the L.A. Mm. and Palm Springs area. He it talked, was fun. He talked about doing a flower order or something for, for J-Lo. J-Lo. Jennifer and, Lopez. And yeah, that can't was kind of neat. Else, but. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, he did... I really liked how he did my hair, but I didn't, if, I, if I could have paid him to just keep coming with us every, where we went, that would have been great, but... You know. God, that'd be expensive. <laughs> that wouldn't work. <laughs> you didn't give your total cost for your hairstyles for the year, did you? No. no. $526 yeah. for the year. Okay. Yeah. Well, then the next category is clothing and gifts, and um, that's kind of a up and down all over the board, too, because it just depends on where we're at in the area. If I want to get t-shirts and hoodies and all that stuff, souvenir-wise... I may spend a little more. We came up with $1,057 for the year for that. Yeah. We need to purge more again. <laughs> Pur purge never started, by the way. I, I purged once. You did? Yeah. That was purging. <laughs> it was. It counts. <laughs> need to purge again. How many, how, how many items was that? It was quite a bit. We took a bag. Quite a bit? <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's just funny. Mail That's service. Um, we spent $460 for the year on mail service. So we use America's Mailbox for our mail service. Um, anytime we are in a spot where we're going to be at least two weeks, we just call them up and tell them to go ahead and forward our mail. We started out the year where we had already paid for their service prior to January of 2019. So in the spreadsheet, you'll see a couple months where there's $104 cost in there, and that is when we needed to replenish our postage that they use to um, send out our mail. But in November of last year is when we renewed our service with them. And that was $252 for the year. The final number, it shows that we have spent $42,722. Ironically, in our spreadsheet when we first started, before we even went full time, all of our house expenses for the entire month, every month, was $3,494. All of our house expenses when we were living in the house for the year totaled $41,928. So take the $42,722 that we've spent for 2019 full-time RVing minus our total house cost of $41,928. That was only $794 off. So it ended up costing us $794 more than it has living in our house prior. The ironic thing about the whole thing is we just pay for everything as we go and just get what we need and do what we want and then we pay off every two weeks. And it was really surprising to see that that ended up only $794 off. So basically $800 uh, difference there. We're just showing you our expenses and obviously yeah. you know if you're not gonna have a car payment or RV payment, you'll know to take that out. Being that close, just the fact that we had to stay out of the Thousand Trail system, just the, that one month alone was $560 extra. Mm -hmm. And then if you add the two months, just two of the four months that we had to stay out of the system, 
that was nine hundred and eighty dollars right there which yeah. which actually would have made us cheaper than living in our house some years you have unexpected costs sometimes some years are going to be more some years are going to be less right. but it gives you an idea we hope this has been helpful to you and if you haven't already please don't forget to hit that like button mm -hmm. down below and please subscribe as well that'll do it for today we'll catch you guys next week in our next video bye bye let's call it a day